Today at the House of Hacks, we're going to unbox some studio equipment. Hi makers, builders, and photographers, Harley here. My buddy Rich ordered a seven foot long arm adjustable wall mounted bracket for studio lights for his photography studio. And this is gonna be an unboxing of that unit and kind of first impressions, see how I like it just based on its initial impressions. I expect two more follow-up videos for this. One will be where I'm making a bracket that allows us to mount at different locations in the studio in different rooms so it's not kind of in a single fixed location. Give us a little bit of flexibility in the studio. And then I expect a second follow-up video of real-world experiences with it, how we like it uh, once it's in place and we've put it through its paces. So if this is your first time here at House of Hacks, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you're interested in making things related to woodworking, metalworking, photography, electronics, computers, things of that nature, hit the subscribe button and YouTube will notify you next time I upload a video. So let's get to this. He ordered this from B&H and it came in a box. It's not terribly heavy. I'm guessing probably less than 20 pounds. I probably could look on the uh, packing list if I really was that interested in it, but it's not, not terribly heavy. It's got some typical bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Wow, lots and lots and lots of bubble wrap. So this box, big huge box, it's only about a third full. So we've got a box inside a box. And the official name for this is an impact wall mounted boom arm seven foot HD. I assume that refers to heavy duty. It's got mounting hardware included, one year limited warranty. And I'll leave a link to the manufacturer's website in the description below. So now we'll just kind of slice open the inside box. It's also got BNH tape on it. Makes me wonder if it's been opened once before. Doesn't really make it probably a big difference as long as it's in good shape. Somebody may have ordered it. It wasn't quite what they were looking for. I'm trying to figure out how this box opens up. There we go. And there's the good stuff. It's of course wrapped in plastic. Boy, it looks like it's all completely assembled. There is a little bit of hardware and a manual. So we've got a little a couple page instruction manual. Basically says, loosen these knobs, specifications. Maximum extension, seven feet. Minimum extension, three feet nine, or 3.9 feet. Um, maximum recommended load at full extension is 12 pounds. So it should handle a, a light without any problem. Pan movement, 180 degrees. Tilt movement, 180 degrees. Attachment type is uh, standard studs. And that's kind of pretty much it. A couple other minor statistics. That's it. And uh, then some mounting hardware, basically just some screws, washers, um, drywall anchors, a Allen wrench, probably for some adjustment somewhere that you set once and forget it, and some sort of bracket that we'll probably figure out once we get more into it. And now we have the unit itself. It is just wrapped up in some plastic. Big plastic bag. Like I said, it looks like it's fully assembled. So there's, besides mounting it, I don't think there's much that you need to do to it to put it into use. It's not like there's a lot of assembly of different pieces that are required. So this piece mounts to the wall. It's a little bit stiff but that's probably adjustable. We have these brackets here that I expect will allow it to tip. There we go. 
And there's some bubble wrap on here. It doesn't look like it's ever been taken apart. So even if the box was opened, I don't think it's probably a, an issue of any sort. Okay, I got the bubble wrap off of this. There's just a little bit of packing stuff to keep it from getting scratched up. There's two sliders on here that control the angle up and down. So this, this slider slides on the bottom part. That's kind of a supporting bracket for the main top piece. And it slides up and down this way, which allows you to get a whole, lot, whole huge range of motion on it this way. Then on the end, there's another adjustment over here that allows you to extend the reach out this direction. The whole, overall, the whole thing seems really well built. It's high quality, heavy duty metal all, all the way around. It's got metal screws everywhere, lock nuts, um, metal inserts where the screws go in. I, I can't tell this is either really high grade plastic or uh, aluminum brackets. Um, where all the screws go in and hold that hold everything together. So overall, I'm really impressed with with the build quality on this. On the end here, it does have a mounting stud that has both three eighths and quarter inch studs on it, so you can mount cameras, any kind of camera gear on it that uses those two standards. This stud can be mounted on either side of the extension tube or on the end, and since the extension tube swivels, you can put it anywhere. Full 360 degrees all the way around. Don't really know. Don't really need to ha put it on both sides because you can just swivel the light around or swivel the bar, bar around. But you can also put it in the end if you want to. Overall, I'm really impressed with the build quality on this. So now I need to make a mounting bracket and mount it in the studio and get some real world experience with it. Until next time, go make something. Perfection's not required. Fun is. Mm -hmm.